This is a quick demo to show your filling and refilling instructions for uh, refill cartridges for your new Epson Sure Color P800 desktop inkjet printer. So we bought our refill cartridge kit, full set of refill cartridges, uh, syringes, we've got a set of 125mm inks here, but remember we can have 250mm and 500mm sets, full set of instructions, and all our electronic information on the disc, which includes profiles if we so wish. We can decide to have 80mm refill cartridges, but bear in mind that you can also go with 180mm refill cartridges as well. So, but in this demo, we're going to do the, the 80 mils. Now, we're going to change the matte black ink, and I recommend that when you buy your Epson P800, you change over your inks as you wish, gradually running out one at a time. You don't have to change the whole lot through, but we do advise you to change your photo black and matte black cartridges quite early so you retain your genuine Epson photo black and your matte black with a reasonably full condition. That allows you to hold on to these genuine Epson cartridges as, and use them as changeover cartridges if ever you need them and we'll explain that very shortly. So in order to open the lid up what we do is we press the home button that gives us our little logos down the bottom we press the ink status button and we can see there it says open ink cover so we press the open ink cover and it does its thing lifts it up as I say we're going to work on the matte black so that's pretty well full up and so is our photo black we're going to hold on to these as our changeover inks so this is our our matte black uh, refill cartridge there's a, it comes with a little transport bung on there to protect that little nozzle. Make sure you take off that transport bung. All you then do is you take away the, the, the there's a little, there's a little uh, filling bung on the front. So we take that filling bung off, put that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, Marat uh, uh, Pro HD ink, matte black, and we're going to take the lid off and it's a nice foil top so this makes ink transfer really easy so we can just pierce the top draw out about 10 mil at a time 10 mil at a time let's show you what i'm doing so that's 10 mil do another one i won't go all the way through on all of them that would be boring but we just show you how what that huge capacity these cartridges actually have let's let's show you a little bit better let's lift it up as i pull the ink through let me pull it out like so now you can actually see let's make sure i get you in a position where you can see the the ink levels rising very straightforward Now, we keep going, so that's 30 mil already, keep pulling it through, there we go, now, keep going, notice I'm not wearing gloves, so that means I'm pretty confident that I can, I can do this without dirty, dirty fingers, let's, uh, let's test this one out, shall we, okay. Try and keep any of my spilling actually in that cap. I've, I've been doing this a few years, so I suppose I should be able to do it. Now that's pretty well, that's pretty well nicely filled up to within about five mil from the top. Now what we're now going to do is put the filling bung back in. Now we're almost ready to put it in, but we must remember that when we first fill this cartridge, there's a little ink channel that goes from the outlet down to the bottom of the cartridge. Now at the moment, we can't guarantee that that isn't full of air. So we're gonna pull that air out. And the way we do it is we're going to pierce the little bit of, let's bring that up to the camera, pierce that little bit of, of plastic, just 
just pierce it and that's all we need to do now this is supplied with the with the kit now this is our little priming a uh, little priming nozzle which we push in I like to push it in at a bit of an angle and you can actually push it against the spring loaded poppet valve and as we let's see if I can do it so that you can actually see I'm withdrawing it and you can see I'm withdrawing the air and there is the ink that's coming out that's about five mil of ink now the beauty of doing that and you can put that back in the back in the bottle because I, I hate wasting any ink so what we've done is we've actually taken out the air from the little channel that would communicate between the outlet there and the bottom of the cartridge now you only have to do that bit one time when you start off the start off the cartridge so we're now going to put that in so that's the matte black that as far as i'm concerned now will just behave like an ordinary uh, um uh, ordinary cartridge so we're going to push that matte black in and then we're going to push it down a nice print up the side there and it says uh, it appears that you're using non-genuine cartridges and we just say proceed uh, a little bit of little bit of uh, uh, Epson information there uh, continue printing and we say yes and it'll load the cartridge quite nicely 